What's going on everybody? It's Seth back with another video and today we are finally getting the intercooler setup installed on the Turbo Honda Accord project. Um, what I'm gonna be doing is running the intercooler straight off the bass bar here. So uh, let's get started with that. This is only the beginning. Losing is my only fear. Season time away from my piss. Started working hard for my career. Now it's safe to say a lot of clear, yeah. I'm the rookie of the year. 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 So like pretty much all the videos about this car, it's gonna be multiple parts. Uh, it is currently like eight o'clock, somehow sunny still. But um, we're out here getting ready to weld the intercooler, which is sitting over there. Then I'm stripping the black paint off of it to get it just a silver intercooler. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and weld it up. We're just gonna take some tabs we found, weld to this bash bar, and then it's gonna be able to bolt right to the top of the intercooler. I'll show you a little bit more about that in a second. But uh, yeah, and then probably the next part you'll see is us going to end up putting the piping on and running all the tubing it'll be in this video but next part of this video so here is the intercooler as you can see it is silver down low kind of like that paint stripping it right now kind of nasty but uh gonna strip all the paint off of it just get it straight silver and then that's when it's gonna get put up there right now we're just getting measurements and gonna get it welded this is what i'm gonna be using for the holding of the intercooler uh, all we're going to do is cut it right down that V right there, use the pre-drilled holes to hold it in, figure out which hole is best, and then chop it from there, and then weld it on. A lot of molten metal falling. <laughs> Not really sticking. So I'm back, day two of installing the intercooler piping and everything like that. Um, right now, I'm just kind of getting the intercooler mounted up and gonna go ahead and get started on figuring out what's gonna go where so went ahead got the intercooler mounted the uh, turbo is kind of loosely put up there right this second um, so now I'm just kind of making pipes like this what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a 90 since I can't turn the compressor wheel down because the vendor mounts there I'm just gonna have to run a 90 just like that somewhat like that and then run it across that way so I kind of figured out test mocked it up how I'm gonna run that kind of built that pipe right there only problem is that this right here this hole right there isn't big enough so i'm just gonna take a sawzall cut a little bit more out of it that way it gives me enough room for the pipe to run it right across and right down so after a little bit of work of cutting and a little bit of mocking this is what i've kind of got going on here um intercooler down here uh don't worry about that side that's rough mock-up um this is what i got going down here um coupler here coupler here short little pipe there runs around one of those uh u-bends cut runs up connects right there to this one runs up through there runs around um the only issue i am having here i don't like how close that is to the alternator and that angle um this doesn't actually fit the outlet of my turbo so i'm gonna have to get a two to two and a half inch uh reducer there for that and um rubs a little bit right there still so uh got a little bit more work to do maybe you can't see it from there so from a little bit of help with Jagger and a little bit of mocking up, uh, got this nice little adapter kind of set up here. It's also an aluminum piping. Uh, ran straight off the turbo since the turbo is a smaller diameter than the actual intercooler piping. So we got the smaller diameter out to an adapter right here. Then it just runs straight across and down. I got to put some hose clamps on this. And then it's going to run down into that pipe that connects straight to the intercooler. Runs through runs up this 90 into here. Then we have a 45 degree pipe here that also Jagger found sitting around. I'm gonna paint strip it down, get rid of the red, put some clamps on it, run it around, run it into here. And then we got a 90 there. Just gonna have to do a little bit of cutting maybe to the uh, piping there to uh, make it kind of fit. And then I also got the blow off valve location kind of marked down in uh, Sharpie. But uh, gonna get some more stuff done. Gonna get a little bit more mocked up and put back together. So uh, stay tuned for that. Really random, but uh, got the blow off valve mounted on the charge pipe that goes up to the throttle body. Um, got an actual former NASCAR crew chief and fabricator because uh, went to my school and got it done. So he welded this up because it's aluminum. Looks pretty, pretty crisp, pretty clean. 
So uh, now that's mounted, you know, full hot boy spec with the red to match the valve cover. So uh, cut to installing this on the full intercooler type, piping, typing, whatever, I, I can't speak. Alrighty guys, it is completely dark outside. There's the moon and it's the only time to work on this clapped out turd. So uh, right now we're, uh, yeah, we're trying to take this line off so we can run boost to the wastegate. That way the wastegate will actually open up and function. Um, we got the uh, charge piping, it's going on right there. And so, uh, yeah. We're gonna get to work on it. Go ahead and get that set up. Alrighty guys, so I don't really know why or how, but I think my phone may have died and I didn't get any more footage for the intercooler video. I'm super sorry about that, but all we did was we ran that little uh, rubber kind of vacuum line straight to the wastegate. That way the wastegate saw a boost and it would open up. Other than that, that last little clip is how the intercooler setup kind of got ran with the charge pipe there. Um, kind of a little low on context here in this video, but it was, uh, Kind of in a rush actually currently the car is running driving and i've taken it down a drag strip so you'll see videos on that very very shortly like within the next two hopefully maybe three days but uh yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you got any questions leave them in the comments down below uh i'm gonna do a full review on the car explaining a little bit more in detail and everything in a couple of weeks maybe that shows just all the parts have all the description all that stuff on how everything was done so i uh, yeah look forward to that and if you enjoy the build, make sure to subscribe and uh, keep staying tuned on the videos. Anyways, guys, peace out.